Clancy the Courageous Cow Clancy was born on a stormy winter's day, a day of great disappointment for his parents. You see, they belonged to a herd of belted Galloways. But Clancy had no belt. He was totally black. As Clancy grew up, all the other cows treated him like an outcast. Imagine being beltless! Clancy tried hard to give himself a belt. He rolled in the snow, but it soon melted off. He tied a bandage around his middle, but it gave him a tummy ache. I feel sick. He sprinkled sugar on his coat, but the ants drove him crazy. He even painted a white stripe, but it washed off in the rain. Clancy was different and nothing could be done about it. Nevertheless, his parents loved him dearly. Poor old Clancy. The rest of the herd bossed him. Not that they were very bossy, big bossy cows. The belted Galloways lived on poor pasture and they were all quite skinny. The paddock next to them was full of rich pasture and fat Herefords. The Herefords held the grazing rights to their paddock by winning the cow wrestling contest, which was held once a year. One, two, three, he's down! The belted Galloways were trapped in a vicious cycle. The Herefords grew big and strong in the lush paddock and so always won the contest. This gave them the grazing rights for yet another year. Some nights the belted Galloways tried to sneak into the Herefords paddock to graze, but their white belts always glowed in the dark and gave them away. Get out of here, stupid Herefords. One night, Clancy slipped into the Herefords paddock to try his luck and nobody chased him out. Because he was completely black, he was invisible in the dark. See anything? No, they've finally given up. Well done, Clancy! One night as Clancy grazed, he bumped into another cow. Who is that? asked Clancy. I'm Helga, the cow answered. I'm a totally red Hereford. Like Clancy, Helga had always been picked on because she was different. Clancy and Helga hit it off immediately and they grazed together every night. At first, only Clancy's mum and dad noticed how big he was getting. Then one day, he bumped into the president of the belted Galloways and sent her flying. She started to tick him off, then stopped in amazement. Clancy was enormous. Surely a cow as big as this could win the cow wrestling contest. The very important belted Galloways decided that being beltless was not such a bad thing and that Clancy would represent the herd in the cow wrestle. Make us proud, Clancy. Several retired wrestlers trained Clancy and taught him their favourite holds and manoeuvres. The cud cruncher, the hind quarter drop, the ruminator, the helicopter, the cow whisperer, the windmill. On the day of the wrestle, Clancy pinned his opponent in record time and won the contest. We have a new champion! The belted Galloways turned on the Herefords immediately and began to chase them out of the paddock. Suddenly, a voice rang out. It was Clancy. Everyone, come here and listen, he shouted. Stop! Helga stood up next to Clancy. This situation has gone on far too long, said Clancy. Black, white or red, we are all cows and I say we pull down the fence and be cows together. After a little while, the belted Galloways and the Herefords began to get along very well. There was plenty of grass for everyone. Clanger was born on a beautiful summer's day, a day of great joy for her parents.